guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 29 of Healing Good Pretty Care. My freaking hair just, just wants to get in my- it's still there! <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with episode 29 in 3, 2, 1, go. It is now 10.53. But by the time you guys will see this, it'll officially be my birthday. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so now do we really immediately think that we're going to see the connections between the other two like so quickly? Probably not. I, I want to say maybe a couple of episodes from now. So if this is episode 29, maybe about 35. Uh-huh. Because as you can possibly see, she's stressed. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I hate the fact that she's stressed, but this is the only way that she can cope with it. I mean, mm -hmm. I wish that she would just huh, talk to the girls about this, but what do you say? That's the biggest thing. Hair, if you don't get out of my face, I love it when you're in my face, but not right now. But still, seriously, what do you... What do you say <laughs> to someone about this situation? How do you help them cope with this situation? As of right now, I don't think any of the other girls know. Which is a little upsetting, because, I mean... They're all going to figure it out on their own. I just don't want it to eat Nautica up or really essentially destroy her. I don't want her to worry about this all the time. But we're getting a whole episode focused on this. And honestly, it's needed. Because if, if we're going the route that I think we're going, then Hinata and Chiyu, they're going to have moments like this too. And she's going to need her friends to pick her back up. I mean, you can't just always go running every single time, you know? Yeah, that didn't even look good to me. <laughs> I mean, it's spicy. I like spicy things, but... The mm, oh okay that's a little too much bruh. Nah it's too spicy. <laughs> well yeah I mean come on now oh my god. Yeah cause. Huh. Hmm. Yes, but at the same time, no, it's not. Hmm. 
Well, of course. There we go, that's better. Of course, anyone would be shocked about that. It's like her way of coping, Umi. Like when someone's depressed or anything, feeling stressed out, people do things to cope with it. Some people will eat, some people will work out, some people will drink, some people will um, gamble, do anything just to cope with that stress. Yeah, because she went on a run. <laughs> huh? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 leave me in chill. She you would laugh at that. Chill. Like I said, <laughs> the Yuki go a pretty year. Cause she will laugh at any really dumb joke, and that's okay. I love her so much. You were running earlier today. Oh my god! No. Okay, no. Like, R.A.P. I was ready to see this little cute penguin go down, make some bars. No. Literally me. <laughs> well, mm. okay, um, hold up. Nadoka Futaba Madoka. You are now acting like Kasumi Yoshizawa from your game P5. Do you see how big that girl's lunch is? Like, oh my god. Kasumi, because she's a gymnast, yes, she has to eat that much. I, I, <laughs> are we trying to say Nadoka's gonna go to the Olympics? Is she gonna try? I mean, hey, you know what? Whatever floats your boat. That's your goal. I'm there to support you no matter what. <laughs> Mm 
Really? But that's unfair. I mean, it, it's practice, though. Hmm. Sir, you have a really nice voice. I don't know who your say you is, but, you know, I, I, I would like to know. Do that research. <laughs> How to fall for an anime guy in like under five seconds. Their voice. Find out who the hell they are and find out if they're in any other series. And then you immediately watch their series that they're in and just like fall for their character that they're playing. Oh, oh me. She is like, what? Oh, hey, Cody. I didn't know you were in here. I thought you were laying down out there with mom. Mm. I didn't really either, but surprising. No, no, no. It's not your fault. You're still doing good. Just, you gotta keep practicing. Yeah. That's right. Hint, hint, not okay. There you go. Oh, baby! It took 13 minutes for her to get sick. Of course, it would be the trumpet. This thing is actually going to look like it. Oh my god. That was literally me like 20 minutes ago. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> After getting three shows out quickly as possible. And then watching a movie that I fell asleep on with my mom and then just waking up at like 1030. <laughs> and I was like, oh shoot, I need to do pretty here before I actually go to bed again. Love the crap out of my watch, but it leaves such a bad mark on my arm.
how much you want to bet by next week we're finally going to get their new stuff? I mean, it would make sense because we're hitting the 30 mark episode by next week. Uh, but I just... <clears throat> I just want to see it so bad animated instead of just like seeing pictures of it everywhere. I kind of want it, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I don't have money right now. Maybe Umi needs to tell you something. Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, but because of her stamina, I think she'll be okay. Grab her. You okay? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But it's not your fault. And you can't do it by yourself. And my voice is cracking. Yeah. So you can't always blame yourself for that. Yeah, in the beginning, yeah, but... <clears throat> you can't do it all by yourself. There's no I in team. It's okay if you want to cry. <laughs> Can you go now? Oh, well, uh, okay. I wasn't expecting Cure Earth to do the final blow. I was kind of expecting, you know, our little trio first because this was a Nadoka focus episode. So Nadoka and friends would have did the, you know, the final attack, not Omi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Go ahead and go back and try again. Oh, what do we need? It's okay. You didn't ask, and that's fine. And she kept it to herself. It's not your fault. It's not her fault. It's no one's fault. It just happens. Exactly. Yes, please. Oh, my God. Anytime you don't feel like yourself... Stop. Talk to the girlfriends. 
That's why you have girlfriends and guy friends and stuff. Whenever you're ready to talk, they're here to listen to you. I'm guessing it's the last bottle. Hmm. Music. <laughs> and there we go. All done. You should get your next power up. I'm just saying because that would make the most sense. But we ain't really going to know until this next preview. That's nice. Aww. See, I'm not really a running type. That's my least fave activity, but I do like to go on a walk every single time. But because we are in our, you know, quarantine s moments and stuff, and who knows when we're going to be able to, like, have a whole bunch of people in a gym or anything. I think what I kind of want to start doing this week or since officially that I'm going to be a year older or how I like to say you're young especially as it's tomorrow um but by the time you guys see this today I kind of want to start going on walks I, I mean me and my dog can go on a walk for around the complex and stuff but we're like what five ten minutes away from a park but that means I gotta drive I don't feel like doing that all the time but going on to this episode, this was a good episode. I really liked it. I loved honestly seeing Nadoka dealing with this and being stressed and stuff. It's almost like how with um, Cure, not really Cure Whip. Cure Whip had a moment where she was depressed. It's more of my best girl, Yukari. Um, and when she was stressed and she was coping and stuff and how... I, I remember re watching the episodes where she felt depressed and I was like, oh my God, I know how she feels. Um, especially when it was the episode about her as a little child and stuff and how she would, the way that she would see herself. I was like, oh my God, me. I was like, damn, it's been a while since I've had a pretty cure episode relate to me, but like, oh, <laughs> we're going to the zoo. Still? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Time out. Time out. We are now going 30 episodes in by next week, and there still is no brand new power up. Where the fuck is this thing at? I mean, something about that to me is not right. I get the fact that, yes, we've had to delay this show. And the movie is officially, the first movie is officially coming out this month by like October 31st, so Halloween. But at the same time, I mean, seriously, it makes the most sense. Like, it should have been by episode three. Like, let's look at any other freaking pretty here from the past. Usually by the time we've gotten to the halfway point or we're like about to be on episode 30, every other from like, I want to say... Kira Kira to now usually finally has their brand new power up, their brand new like final like group power up ish, and everything else. We're thirty episodes in, about to be next week, and these girls have not gotten the syringe of Pretty Cure where you literally can inject yourself to watch Pretty Cure episodes and be obsessed with them more and more. I'm just kidding though, but I, from what I've seen from memes and everything on Twitter, but seriously, 
They're already 29 going on 30 episodes by next week and still nothing. It just, it feels weird. And I'm like, I'm like, was, I know this was planned. You can tell it was planned. So I'm guessing if it's not 30, then it has to be 31, 32, or 33, at least 34, 35, because of the fact is we're, it makes the most sense. I don't want to wait until like 40 for them to finally get their power up and be like, okay, here's like the last eight or seven episodes them finally using this power up. Like as much as I love seeing, you know, um, Kara Earth using the Earth Wendy Harp and then, you know, the other three using just their sticks. I want to see something else. Like, oh my God, <laughs> like not to be rude and shit like that. I'm just saying it, it would be nice. I mean, I remember when for like Kitty Kitty Pretty Carol Mode and they had the candy stick, even though like everybody didn't want that candy stick. I wanted it. But then when freaking CL came in with her freaking gymnastic ribbon <laughs> one, which I actually have because I like day one when I saw that online, I was like, you know what? I was like, mm, we are getting this. And the day I showed it to you guys is like literally the best day ever. Like still those two, like the freaking compacts and CL's one, are like my prized possessions besides my figures and stuff for anime figures and shit like that. But yeah, I really just hope that we get to see it soon because I, I just want to see it animated. I want to see the new um, sequences that we're going to get. I mean, it ain't going to be no Go Princess Pretty Cure with the, you know, the, the castle. Like, that's still one of the prettiest freaking sequences in, in all of Pretty Cure. Besides that, and then the um, the carnival for Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure All in Mode. I, I don't know how you can stuff that up. That, and then also Star Twinkle. So, I'm still just, like, waiting for these girls to have their final weapon and their final like attack pose together but I'm guessing we're not gonna see that yet yeah but yeah this was a really good episode I'm glad that we got to see her and Naroka in a different light and I hope that we get to see both Hina and Chiyu in the same way because it would make sense to not only put one girl like that but all three maybe even Umi like that as well because maybe well technically we've kind of really seen that with Umi with her being depressed so really it's just Hinata and Chiyu if we're going the way we're going with the fact is that Nadoka has made what's his face so I don't really know we'll have to just wait and see if the situation on those two is also correct just as much as Nadoka's but other than that guys that is my reaction to the episode 29 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 30. Bye, guys.